Outlook is Philadelphia's in-depth education news source. It's both a website and a bi-monthly print publication that folks go to to try to make sense out of what's going on in the Philadelphia schools. We started 19 years ago with a print publication, a group of parents and teachers and community activists who felt that there was a need for more news and more awareness about what was going on in the schools came together. There were really four things I think we were trying to do. One was to just help people make sense out of a confusing, turbulent system. We were trying to make sure that grassroots voices were part of the conversation. We were really trying to be an accountability mechanism so that uh, the folks in power knew they were responsible for their actions. And we were trying to create a community also, a place where people could come together to talk about the issues in the schools. We started out just as a four times a year print publication. We now have a very active website that is a place for conversation and discussion about how to solve some of the vexing issues that we're dealing with. We're also read by a much broader and more diverse audience than we ever imagined. The Notebook didn't have a website until 2002, um, and so there are 29 editions of the Notebook that exist in, only in print form. You can really see kind of the development of the Notebook and how we got from here to here. It's really an important archive of what was going on in the schools in a really turbulent time. We're really a, a pioneer in the sense of uh, this whole growing field of nonprofit journalism, and so uh, kind of charting our own growth. We'd like to see the early editions preserved in a better way than they are right now. We're in some ways uh, a little outside the box of what traditional news organizations do. Part of our fundamental belief is that school systems like Philadelphia's are not going to improve until there is much more community connection to the schools. We're one of the first and one of the longer standing ones, but I think we're gonna see more publications like The Notebook cropping up.